Hey everyone, happy Valentine's Day. Karen Winter here from beingchronicfatigue.com. This evening I'm going to show you how to reset your body clock so that when you are travelling you can beat jet lag. So the reason why I'm doing this in the evening is we're going to set our body clock from 9 to 11 p.m. which is the triple warmer meridian which relates to the thyroid gland. So this is a fantastic way to be jet lag and I love doing this time of the day particularly because often when you go into bed in a new country or it might be when you're on a plane flying you're about to land there and you don't want to be feeling really spaced out when you get off the plane in a foreign country at 2 a.m. in the morning. You want to be on the right time zone. So first we start with doing the central meridian and then we do the governing meridian. The central meridian relates to day and the governing meridian relates to night. So we always correct these meridians first before we correct the meridian that relates to the actual time of the day. So I'm going to run the central meridian to start with. So it starts at the Pyrenees, central vessel one, it goes all the way up to central vessel 22. I'm very tired tonight. I've been up since 5.30 this morning, so excuse me. <laughs> I think we might have need to go to sleep. Anyway, I'm going to run it five times. It was run them an even number. So I'm going to do that now. So running the central meridian from the base of the perineum up to central vessel 22. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to do the neurovasculars, sorry, neurolymphatics for the central meridian. So I'm going to cross my arms over and then rub in between the joints of the shoulder and the arm, which is the neurolymphatic for the central meridian. And then the back neurolymphatics are just on either side of the top of the scalp. So you're just running, rubbing those points there. You just rub for a few seconds until you sigh and release. Then to do the neuro... Uh, Vascular points for the governing, so the central meridian, you're holding the two prominent bumps on your forehead and the fontanelle point on the top of the head or the soft spot on the baby skull. So to find that point, put the heel of your hand on your eyebrows where your finger touches at the top of the head. That's the point that you're holding there. And then you're holding the, the ESR, emotional stress release point, on the front of the head and you're holding these both these points at the same time. For a few seconds or until you sigh and release. So that's the central meridian done. Now we're going to do the governing meridian. So the governing meridian starts from the governing vessel uh, 26. Sorry, governing vessel 1 on the tip of the tailbone, all the way to governing vessel 26. I am very tired. I need to go to sleep. So I'll show you how I do this on, on my on myself. Usually you get someone else to run, run this for you. So you start here, you run up. The spine, and then with the other hand, you run over the head to, to governing vessel 26. I'm going to do that five times. It's two, three, four, five. Then we're going to do the neurolymphatics for the governing vessel. So you cross the arms over. And you'll find a couple of points there just below your collarbone. So you're rubbing those points there. That's the front neurolymphatics. And then for the back, you're rubbing between T1 and T2 on either side of the spine. You probably find those points can be quite sensitive. So rub them until the pain goes away or until you sigh in relief. Okay, and then we're going to do the neurovascular points for the governing vessel. So you just hold it on either side of your head here or just on the side of your hairline. Neutral polarity, two fingers. So I'm just going to hold there until I sigh or until you feel the pulses um, beat evenly together. So some, some of you may be feeling um, pulses underneath your fingers there. So we've now done the central vessel or central meridian, which represents day, and the governing vessel or governing meridian, which represents night. Now we're going to do the triple warmer meridian, which relates to the thyroid gland. So this is also going to give your thyroid gland a bit of a boost and um, 
bring you to 9 to 11 p.m. in the evening. So to do the thyroid gland, the front neurolymphatic points are in between ribs 2, 3, 4, and 5. So you're just rubbing in between those points, which is below the, the kidney 27 points, or you can start from kidney 27 down. So rub those into your side. And then the points for the back, the neuro lymphatics, for this one is also the same one we did for the governing vessel. So you're just rubbing either side between T1 and T2 on the back of the spine. Now, I'm going to do the meridian. It doesn't really matter which order you've done. You might have noticed I've done this in a slightly different order. We'll do the meridian now and then we'll do the neuro vascular points last. So the meridian for tri triple warmer starts from the inside of this finger here. You're running all the way up the arm, behind the shoulder, behind your ear, and then you're ending at your eyebrow. But because we've got two sides, we're going to run both sides. So I'm going to do the other side. So that's running at once. So I'm going to count to, so we're going to do this five times. So I'm going to count to 10 doing this. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I just turn sideways so you get more of an idea of where that meridian is. And now I'm going to hold the neuro. Vascular points for this meridian. So it's the same points we did for the governing vessel on this either side of your head or on the hairline here. But this one's a bit trickier because we're going to hold our fingertips in the notch just at, at the point where it, the top of your sternum meets your throat there. So you're going to be holding these at the same time. So I do the thumb and two fingers here. And then I'm holding this point in the, the sternal notch here at the same time. So this is the, the neurovasculars for the triple warmer meridian or for the thyroid gland. And just hold those to the pulses beat together or until you sigh and relax. Okay. Now there's another great trick to beating jet lag as well. When I travel, I also travel with an organ generator um, Aircraft harmonizer. Now, this is fantastic for beating jet lag. It harmonizes the entire jumbo jet from the nose to the tail and wingtip to the wingtip. Even if it's packed in your luggage, it will cover the entire plane and harmonize all the electromagnetic radiation, all the noxious energies in the plane. Planes are full of lots of harmful positive ions. So, an aircraft harmonizer carried with you when you travel will help to beat all that as well. You, you get there feeling refreshed and then you can read and concentrate on the plane. You can come, you just feels so much better when you're traveling with one of these. The link is below the video. So if you'd like one of these two while you travel, I carry mine with me everywhere I go. It lives in my handbag. It provides 30 meters of personal space protection. So it is a fantastic personal space protector. It protects me when I'm in shopping centers, when I'm in the supermarket, if I'm where I go, what form of harmful energy I come into contact with. I'm protected everywhere I go. It even does my whole car. So anyway, the link for that is below. I trust that you've enjoyed this uh, video today of my 30-day video challenge. And let me know how your results go. But this is a fantastic way to beat jet lag. I've tried other ways with using the acupuncture points. Not as effective. Running the meridians, doing the neurovascular and neuroemphatic points seems to be the way to go to make a really big difference. Anyway, enjoy your Valentine's Day. I trust you've had a wonderful day and sport yourself with something special. I picked some roses from out of the garden. Unfortunately, I couldn't get them in the screen with the table and get me in the screen as well. But have a wonderful day and a wonderful evening, and I trust you sleep really well after correcting your body clock. Adios until next time.